Hello, there is Fimpossible Creations and in this video I will show you a new feature of Animation Designer, which is Custom Modules. Custom Modules gives possibility to write procedural animation code and apply it to the characters. And in this video we will use some of these modules for pose correction and for strafe animation creation. Ok, let's go! So I will start with setting up the character. It's humanoid rig, so we don't need to care about bone setup. Here I will use some simple idle animation. I will adjust a bit the scene view. And let's switch to the new bookmark here. And let's add the first field for the module. Now we need to choose which module we want to use. We can use the quick selector or the project file browser. And let's start with humanoid arm poser. And there we have a control over the unity built in humanoid muscles. So you can easily do the adjustments. We can switch to use also the other arm so we can quickly do symmetrical adjustments which can be really handy. And we can choose how to apply this humanoid muscle values. We can do it additive or overwrite, which can give us very different effects and it can be used in different purposes. Let me switch to the walk animation so you will see more clearly the difference between additive and the overwrite. So additive mode is pushing the current animation pose when overwrite tries to keep it still. And when doing that, the blending can be really useful there. Ok, let's switch back to the idle. Just for clarity, I will call it arms. And let's add another field for the humanoid fist poser. This module will help you quickly adjust pose for all fingers of a hand to be closed or open. You can also adjust the thumb. So when character is holding something you can quickly adjust it. Or you can change the blending curve to add some extra motion to the animation, add some finger movement for more detail. Again you can use additive or overwrite mode. Let me quickly restore the blending curve. Ok. And there you can see that the additive and override does a difference here. So if you want to add some extra motion, you will use additive. And if your character is holding something, then probably the override mode will be better. Ok, I will call it fists. And let's move on to the humanoid fingers poser. It's similar to the fists module, but it focuses on every single finger of a hand. So if your character is holding a gun or something and you need to adjust fingers to have them precisely set on a trigger, then this module you will find very handy. And in this module you can set the additive and overwrite mode per finger. And you switch it with the A button or with a switch all button. You can still use the blending curve if you need. Yeah, let's call it fingers. Add new processor and let's select head poser. This module simply controls muscles for the neck and head. But it also features controls for the jaw. But unfortunately on this model we will not see it. It will work only if your character has a jaw. And if you fold out this module you will see controls for the eyes. But if your character rig don't have eye bones assigned then you will not see the difference. I will disable this module just to test other ones. Let's call it head. And now turn for leg poser. So it's almost the same as the arm poser. 
Uh, right now I have turned on the I case, so there was override. Okay, now it's free. So yeah, if your animation needs some adjustments for the legs, you can do it with this module. Okay, I will disable it and call it leg. And now last humanoid poser, which is spine. The Unity humanoid spine muscles are affecting the whole model. So if you want to use it without making legs go off, you can enable the eye case to keep foots in place. And yeah, since it's affecting whole model, sometimes it can be hard to work with it, but sometimes it can quickly help you making some natural poses. And there is time for one more module, which is Strafe Creator. And with this module we will turn this walk forward animation into walk right animation. This module applies not just for the humanoids, but also for generic rigs, so it can be really helpful when creating a directional movement setup. I will enable humanoid IK just for more precision. And let's add module. I will call it strafer. And let's select strafe creator. Let's enable foot IKs. And it's changing direction of the foot animation. Let's do it in pose so you can clearly see what is going on. Okay. And you notice that it's not just one slider move and animation is ready. You need to do some adjustments. Like here you see that the legs are too close each other and are too stretched. So first we will separate them a bit in the X axis. And they are stretched even more, but we will fix it in a while. You can use other axis to do even more adjustments, but in most cases you will not need it. Foot angles offset for foot rotation towards target movement direction. IK points offset for easily adjust both legs. And also we can fold out the strafer to see some extra parameters, but we will not use them. Okay, with this set it up, we still need to do some adjustments for the IKs, for the hips. And we will start with fixing pose for this leg, so it's stretched and it's overlapping with other leg. First, we will move hips a bit down. Oh, it's a bit too much. And you see it's already helping a lot. But its slight crouch is not needed to be present in the whole animation, so let's blend it in only when it's needed. Let's check on the preview. Yeah. Let's actually move it a bit more down, but just a bit. Okay. Oh, looks much better already. Now what we are lacking is hips rotation towards the movement direction, so the legs can reach the target step more easily. So let's add modifier for the hips. I will switch to the local space axis mode rotation just to easily control it. And we need switch execution order to affect IK. Now legs aren't sliding with hips rotation modification. And let's again do the curve for hips rotation just when it's needed. Focus on the legs comparison. So yeah, it's now easier to reach. But foots now are looking weird, so let's adjust the foot angles offset. Yeah, it will be much better. Now the leg IK is bending leg in a strange way. We can fix it by changing the hint offset, just with small values. Or we can switch to the auto hint mode for hips rotation. All right, since we rotated hips, the head is not looking perfectly forward. And we will fix it with look at position modifier, adjust focus point, and let's make look rotation over right other motion. Now it will look forward regardless the hips rotation. But here I noticed that the hips rotation is just too sudden. 
let's maybe change the curve to be more smooth like maybe like this this probably will give better result yeah that looks better now let's do something with the arms since they are very close to the body let's do it with modules and we will do arms poser and we will just offset arms a bit further from the body with shoulders and the others it's a bit too much so let's adjust it maybe somewhere like this okay and now it feels that the arms animation motion is a bit too big for the strafe animation type so let's calm a bit this arms motion with the arm poser but in override mode let's do some pose for the arms And let's blend it a bit, like 50%. And yeah, now it looks much better. Let's compare it one more time to ensure. Yeah. Oh, also if you use Strafe Creator, you can still use the IK offsets features. There are no limitations for combining them. And for final touch I will add some elasticity for the spine and maybe this time let's use position based elasticness for different effect. Let's adjust quickly some of the parameters. I want just this very slight effect of the bounciness for the body. Uh, it will be very mild effect. And I will also try adding some elasticity to the hips but not too much to avoid the leg stretching again. And yeah, adding just tiny bit more feeling to the motion. Yeah. Okay, final comparison. No design and with design. And that's all for this tutorial video. I hope it was useful for you. If you have some question feel free to ask in the comment section below. Hit a like, subscribe for more. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.